As you might know, the works of Aristotle contain the earliest formal study of logic that we have, and his system was all based on three logical principles, namely the law of identity, the law of non-contradiction, and the law of the excluded middle. The law of identity states that each thing is identical with itself, so when we talk about it, we cannot use the same term or symbol to refer to something else as well, since that would introduce ambiguity to the discussion. The law of non-contradiction states that contradictory statements cannot be both true, as in A and then the negation of A. The law of the excluded middle, also called tertium non datur, which is Latin for the third is not given, states that any statement is either true or false, there is no third option. Pretty simple and straightforward so far, although that's not really the whole version of the last principle on this list. Aristotle actually complicated things a bit and said that any statement is either true or false, except for contingent statements about the future. Okay, that might sound like a weird suggestion. What does contingent even mean? Why would he add this exception to his law? Well, let's hear him out first. He tells us to imagine a sea fight taking place. If we observe it happening, we can say that the statement a sea fight is taking place is true. But if it's true, then it was also true yesterday and the day before. According to this logic, it was always true that the sea fight will take place. So it would seem that this event was already determined to happen. It was always true. It's like fate would determine it. We know this today as the problem of future contingents. And yes, I'll explain what contingent means, I promise. But first, it's important to note that Aristotle didn't like where this was going, since what we said conflicts with the idea of free choice. If it's already true that you'll order a coffee tomorrow, then it almost seems like you have no say in it. You're going to order it, it's already determined. So, fearing that he might commit himself to this sort of logical determinism, Aristotle added a little exception to his law concerning statements about the future, such as a sea fight will take place tomorrow. They are neither true nor false. But was Aristotle justified in doing so? If free will and logics conflict, why not deny free will rather than adding such a weird exception to this fundamental principle? Authors such as Richard Taylor argued that we should accept the consequences of this logic and deny free will. He told us to imagine a book containing all the statements about the past, about the present and about the future. The statement that Jimmy will die on the 24th of May 2080 is either true or false. Whatever the case, it is logically determined, it is already true or false. Hence, we call this view logical determinism. One look at modern logics will inform you that the law of the excluded middle that we use today doesn't state any exceptions. So did all modern logicians accept logical determinism? Well, not really. Rather, they spotted a fallacy in the reasoning that led to our problem in the first place, called the model fallacy. In order to understand this fallacy, it's important to differentiate between necessary truth and contingent truth. An example of necessary truth would be a sea fight will happen tomorrow or it will not happen tomorrow. It is logically necessary that it is true, since denying it would lead to a contradiction, namely a sea fight both would happen and would not happen tomorrow. But then we have contingent truth, such as a sea fight will happen tomorrow. It's not contradictory to deny this claim, because you would simply get a sea fight will not happen tomorrow. So from a logical standpoint, both possibilities remain. The model fallacy occurs when we confuse the two. Aristotle's reasoning was x will happen, therefore x will necessarily happen, meaning denying x will lead to a contradiction. But we can deny the sea fight happening without contradicting ourselves. This event unfolding is no necessity, we don't know it by logical reasoning alone. But rather, it's a contingent claim, it either can be true or false, it is not determined by logics, but if we want to get to know its truth value, we'll have to wait and actually check for ourselves. And yes, this is Aristotle's tertium non datur explained. The modern law of the excluded middle doesn't state any exceptions no more, and it's just 
Always interesting to see something as basic as a fundamental principle of logic evolve. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If so, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any thoughts, share them in the comment section below. I always like to have a discussion about these topics. And thanks for watching and supporting this channel.